through tonight. Don't feed the animals. Those warning signs are not new, but as bears in Florida were protected and populations grew, that warning gained some importance. West Chew's Dave McDaniel looks at big time improvements in Seminole County, once considered a leader in human bear conflicts. Finding food, that's key. If they're finding food, they're not going to be in the woods away from your house. They're going to be right next to your house. FWC's local bear biologist has worked years to drive home a point. Bears and people can live safely around one another if we do our part. All the folks who have bear resistant garbage cans and or are doing the right thing by keeping those attractants, bird feed, you know, pet food uh, and their garbage away from bears generally don't have any bear issues. It seems that the news is getting better and better. It is. Each year since Seminole County established an ordinance for areas most impacted by bears, FWC provides an annual update. Uh, we're certainly in a way better shape. The 2016 ordinance is to keep bears out of people's trash. Bear resistant trash cans were made available at a discount. People were told to not feed pets outside or hang bird feeders in the bear management area. Bear complaints topped 900 in 2014 in just Seminole County. Those dropped more than 500 in the 2020 tally. And bear calls overall, more than 4,000 across 11 Central Florida counties in 2014. Those dropped by nearly one half last year. People living in areas where there are a lot of bears still see them, of course, but with less available trash, pet food, and bird seed for them to get into, the bears just keep on moving. They don't linger and get into trouble as much. And serious complaints, a bear in a garage or screen enclosure, a bear too close for comfort made up more than half the calls in 2014, but just over a third last year. If you respect these animals and you keep the food attractant uh, away, generally we do a pretty good job living with them. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.